press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Any memorable moments from the show? So many, so many memorable moments. I mean, I, uh, you know, I think we got along really well on set. I mean, we used to, uh, it was a very lovely office set that was built. Uh, there was a lovely set. Uh, Mansi Mehta and her team created a lovely... It's lo in Mumbai itself? It's, yeah, it's in Mumbai. It's in Mumbai. It was created in Mumbai. We shot uh, all in Mumbai. So it, it was wonderfully created, that set, because it really gave a feel of an office. The day we stepped in, we really felt this, you know, looks and feels like an office. Everything was real. It wasn't like, you know, on a set you often have things that mm -hmm. just look from appearance to be something. But then, but we had, I mean, the laptops worked, you know, everything, everything was, the Xerox machine worked. Everything was a proper functioning office in a sense. And, and that, that, that creates that real feel and you feel really good about that. Uh, we had, and so very often, you know, when you were not on a shot, uh, most people just go back to their vanity or their rooms. But many people used to hang out on set because it was just a comfortable place. You know, it was just, a, you felt comfortable. They sat at their desk where they used to work. They used to just sit there only in breaks because that was their space. People had created their own, you know. I had a big, I had a very big cabin. Uh, so in their desks, you put, you know, little things to eat. You put games. Everybody had created that at their own desks. So you kind of felt comfortable in those places. My cabin became a place uh, which was an adda. You know, people would come and play games over there. We played lots of Uno. We played lots of Ludo. We played cricket on set until the set designers came running and very carefully because they were worried that we'll break something. But there was a great atmosphere on set with everybody playing it. Um, there were video game challenges between us uh, because there was a lot of downtime that some actors had all times, and you know it was it was great actually. So you enjoyed it? Yes, I mean I, it was very hard actually. It was a hard schedule. It was tough. It was a very long schedule that we shot, uh, and through most of it through summer, so it was very very hot. But uh, and shooting is always difficult, but uh, no, it was also very enjoyable. Okay, and, uh, and like, how is to work with your co-actors? Anyone whom you want to name special? I think lots of them, you know, I think the people, so I knew Gopal before, uh, Gopal and uh, Gopal that we had worked together in a lot of uh, shows. Uh, I mean, we'd, we'd done theatre projects together, then we'd done a lot of different projects here and there, so we'd worked together before. So I knew that with Gopal there was an ease, you know, there was a comfort level, we would work very easily, I was very happy when I heard he got the part because I knew one, it's a difficult part what he's doing, T.P. Mishra, which is based on Dwight. And I knew that he'll do justice to it. And also, uh, we had a lot of, we have lots of scenes together. Lots of, lots of chemistry, lots of chemistry between the characters. And I was very happy because I, you know, there's that mutual respect and understanding that Gopal ke saath to aram se ho jayega, you know, and, and that, that felt comfortable. And that comfort was there from day one. With a lot of the other actors, it wasn't there from day one because you, you, you have to know them, but it developed very fast. You know, there were lots of people um, with uh, Shayandeep, with Amit, I had a lot of scenes uh, that worked. Uh, there's a character called um, uh, Sapan who's played by uh, Abhinav. Uh, we developed a great bond because, you know, also our characters have a bond. And sometimes when you have fun uh, in, in a scene with somebody, uh, that does develop into, you know, even, uh, when, the, when, the, when after the shot, you kind of become friendly and hang out. So lots of people with Samridhi, uh, who plays Pammi. Uh, loads of the Gohar who played, uh, 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 you know, the role of Ria Pawa, my boss. Uh, most of my sh scenes outside the office were either with Gopal or with uh, 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 Gohar. And uh, she was again, you know, wonderful to work with. She was not part of the immediate people in the office. So she kind of came in a little later and all that, but, you know, got along with her very well. And if we'll talk about, uh, and if you can share like your next upcoming project. There's a film that I've done, uh, which is tentatively titled Fairy Folk. Uh, that's a very interesting project in terms of how it's been made. It's, um, uh, you know, it, it, it was shot, um, we first shot it linearly. We, you know, we kind of shot it with, um, uh, I mean, you, you, you shot every scene as it happened in the film. So it was great uh, because as an actor, you know, normally you go in, you shoot scene 62, then scene 12. It's very difficult. This was actually wonderful. I mean, I think Karan just, who's the director, made it very easy for the actors. He just, uh, you know, let us do long, long takes without calling cut, he would, and, and he, then he'll cut it in accordingly. He had multiple cameras, so he had multiple options to do that. Uh, he allowed us to be in that space and, you know, do our own thing. Uh, so his way of filmmaking was very interesting and I'm very keen to know how that film turns out. He made it linearly. He made it linearly. So it's actually hard. Uh, logistically, it's a problem because sometimes we do a scene, we're doing a scene in a jungle, I remember, and that scene 58 and then scene 70. And logically, any producer will say, let's shoot both of them together, but you can't. So we have to, we, we do 50, some days you just do that and come back and then, the, then you know, five days later we'd go back and do the next scene. So it was tough on him, you know, it was very tough on him to get that done. 
Yes, exactly, exactly. Much, much tougher. But uh, but he he chose to do it. He believed in what he wanted to do, and he did it. And and I think that had made a difference in the project because it it, it had there were reasons to get that done that way for the kind of project it was because a lot of things evolved in a scene as we went along. Um, yeah, and so that was that was very nice actually, and I'm very keen to know how it happens. It's about this couple uh, in Bombay, and then uh, a set of very strange incidents start happening that affect their lives. And uh, how it affects them and their relationship and and it's a web series or a I don't know how what platform it will come out on. I think uh, the film isn't finished yet, so I think oh. that's the first step. He will finish it and then he will, uh, uh, you know, I guess find an avenue to release it and how he can release it. Uh, but yeah, I'm I'm guessing it might come on one of these OTT platforms. Okay, till when? Like two after two months? I don't. I think probably maybe next year. I'm guessing. I'm, I'm guessing it'll come next year. I think by the time it gets done next year. So yeah, that's that's uh, that's some next thing I'm very excited about. Yeah. Uh, last thing, like if you can say any dialogue or anything from the office. Uh, particular character. funny hai yaar, ye show dekh lo. Main keh raho, main hu na usme. <laughs> thank you, sir. Thank you, thank you, thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.